Where's my speaker on the barn floor? Uh, that would be your youngest son. I use that when I spit bars. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I just took it down the road and the dirt happened. If I can get some fender flares that come out to about like here, <laughs> we'd be good. Okay, I gotta take a better peek at this thing before we go. Oh, oh. It's nasty. So is it, okay, we gotta put this back on. Uh. I mean, the other trick doesn't have one on there. I just drove it yesterday without that on there. Weather strip. Yeah. There's not like a loss of power, if <laughs> that's what you wanted to hear. It's way quieter at the exhaust pipe though. I don't know why. When it's idling, it's a lot quieter at the tailpipe. I don't know if this kind of acts as like a small muffler as well, having to go through an extra step to the exhaust pipe. Like, I don't know, but. It's a little bit quieter. None of it really matters as long as we're considered cool. Yeah, it's all about that, right? Don't it. Don't it. Did you throttle it? Yeah, it chokes up and you throttle it. Yeah, it's a lot quieter at the tailpipe. Second gens, man. You can hear that ticking sound. It's like tick, 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 tick. You really feel the difference. One thing I know. To start with, the transmission was solid. You can put a thousand horsepower in this transmission stock, and it's good. <laughs> All these guys. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, all these guys, the truck's like s still taken apart, not even running yet. I hope you got the transmission built. It's like, it's, we haven't even gotten on the road yet. <laughs> this is reaction time. You say whatever you want. Said. That's what I said in the video that they haven't seen yet. Because it hasn't gone up yet. I mean, it will have been up by the time you guys see this one. It'll be like two or three videos back. But you don't have to throttle this thing much. It doesn't it feel like yeah. I know. It feels like you're feathering the throttle and you're just zooming. It's like a smooth power delivery. I don't know how to explain it. It's weird. It's just different. It's very easy. place I ever do it is on these rocks. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, I don't spin my tires anywhere else. This crowd. Yeah. <laughs> it's the cheater burnout spot. <laughs> hey, you remember when we lost cattle in that crowd? So uh, that was a terrible day. Yeah, le legit guys in that nasty, tall, gross crap. It looks good now, believe yeah, it or not. But it was so nasty. Imagine it was one of the, in June. Yeah, imagine so was, one of the hottest summers on record for Indiana. It was so it was awful. Cattle broke through the fence. This is what two and a half miles away from us. Yeah. That's That's slight bar. That's a different sound. Yeah, if I had a built transmission here, 
when it was durable. Yeah. I'd hammer down, but I don't want to. Just of like, like what I said in the other video, I'm like, I'm just driving it like normal speeds, but the acceleration and the smooth power up to those speeds is it's so much incredible. Yeah, it's so much more response. Huge yeah. The boost. The boost. The boost. Diesel boost. Diesel boost. D I Z U L. Right? The mirrors kick in. And, uh, yeah, that's night and day different. It's so different. Like I'm not even trying it. It's got plenty of power. Yeah. You know, how, like the first gen, especially when we got in, yeah. we were, like dogging on it to get it to go before we did anything to it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like once we get the transmission built, pushers got it together with good DAP and pusher parts. Shabam. Man, look at that power stroke. I like that power strip. Yeah. <laughs> that truck runs really good too. You know, like we, when we switched it out, like today I had my windows down in the street for a little bit and I'm driving down the road. <laughs> you hear it. <laughs> you hear it, it's sweet. Man, all these second gens around here. Classic, seven threes, Classics. 12 valves. Okay, so we have to leave. We gotta scram, but while we're walking, what was your thoughts on the truck? And by the way, side note, at the end there, you guys yeah. notice how they never had that taking sound before, and now it kind of has like the t t t He revved it up with the hood open. You could see the soot come up from yeah, around the manifold. So there's some kind of pressure leak there that's kind of causing a little t -t 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 sound. Not a big deal. Overall drive though, aside well, from that. As I mentioned, I mean, we, you could tell there's just a huge power difference there, which is super cool. Response. Oh yeah, I mean it's nice. It's nice. Now I wasn't going crazy just because of course the transmission is stock and it's not designed to handle three times the power yeah. of what was uh, put under the hood originally. So, But it's a lot of fun. I can't wait to personally get those airbags on there, hook up the gooseneck, put a load of uh, hay or lumber or something on there and give it some go. So That's for sure. Yeah. What was amazing to me is you know, all the trucks drive different. I mean, the 7.3 drives different than the 6.7 from the first gen. But this one, it was Big Stinky a, drives so Big much Stinky, different than the yeah. Dually and the red one now. And you just kind of lose track. You, you forget how much lag there was before. But this one, like now, it's like I'm not even hardly putting the throttle down. And it had plenty of power to get up to, you know, 50, 60 miles an hour, which is pretty cool. So, got to be careful. It's like going from that truck to the nasty red now. It's... That truck's like stock, stock, stock. He's like, how does it feel driving? I'm like, like a stock is crap, 12 valve. Like it's just, it's a dog, Lucky, but yeah. that's where they start from the factory. Yeah, we're definitely thankful to have it to this particular point. We got good parts. You had a good experience putting it in though. I mean, did you ever think literally a year ago, would you have thought you would have been doing something like that? All those different parts? No, not necessarily, no. No, me neither. Like, why I did. Like, <laughs> no, but I think the point being with that is, is that you learn as you go. I mean, everybody's got to start somewhere, but to be able to tackle a system like that and never do it before, I think that's pretty good. So I thought, yeah, good job. Aside from my exhaust manifold leak, it, it's gone pretty good. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. We've got some other things we've got to tend to right now, so we got to scram, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, smash that thumbs up, share with a friend if you enjoyed. Leave your comments down below, subscribe if you're new, and we will catch you in the next video. Peace.